and you are playing by yourself because why not? So you have your half your ping pong table up and you hit the ping pong. So here's the ping pong table. There's a little net you have. You folded it up because you don't have anyone to play with today because it's COVID and, and you shouldn't be gathering. Okay, so you're playing ping pong by yourself. So the ping pong ball has a mass equal to 0 0.01 kilograms, so 10 grams. And you hit the ball. So here's your here's the wall, I mean. The ball hits the wall, moving at 20 meters per second. Okay, it loses some energy in that collision, so it goes back at 18 meters per second. What force does it experience by the wall? Okay. So, same process. Oh, um, let's just say what's the impulse? Well, we could say the time. Um, let's do the force. So the time is equal to 0 0.001 seconds. I was making it up anyway. All right, so what force does it experience? So same setup as we did before, right? The impulse is our change in momentum, our final momentum minus our initial momentum. And that is, of course, our force times time. So this is going to elucidate. We got to pay attention to direction. We got to pay attention to direction. So mass times final velocity minus mass times initial velocity. We know that mass isn't going to change. Is going to equal our force times our time. So our mass is 0 0.01. Our final velocity, as I've drawn it, is to the right. So that's positive. That's 18. Our mass is 0 0.01. Our initial velocity is to the left. It's velocity. So this is negative 20. Okay, have to pay attention to direction. And that will equal our force times 0 0.001. All right, so direction here. So 18 times 0 0.01 is 0 0.18 minus a negative 0 0.2. That equals the force times 0 0.001. So negative or 0.18 minus a negative 0.2 is adding them. So we have 0 0.38 is equal to the force times 0 0.001. And we get 1, 2, 3, 300, right? 3, 2, 3, sure. Is equal to our force. 0.38 times 1,000. 1, 2, 3, five. Okay, should it be positive? Well, the object's moving to the left and it turns around and moves to the right. What kind of force is gonna have it do that? One is pushing to the right, it's gonna slow down and then accelerate in the opposite direction, which would give it a positive force. So the key about this one is paying attention to those directions. Now, had I drawn the picture in reverse, if I was playing that way instead of this way, Final would have been negative and initial would have been positive, and the force would have ended up negative. That all makes sense because now the force is acting in that direction, which is negative. Okay, so let's do 